Awesome things of the week. Let's get into this. Um, let's have you go first, since I just ranted about all the things I wanted to do. Mine's very quick and it's easy, and I know surprise, surprise. I actually picked up the oh. iPad too. Oh, it's already thumb printed with, up with with yeah, it is thumb printed up with fingerprint ID. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's my work stuff. <laughs> um, there's there's a free plug for for an enterprise mail solution. Um, but no, I so far loving it. I can definitely see a speed increase. And I'll be honest with you. I was sold merely on fingerprint ID. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to NFC with this. No, I'm not take. I hate this. You're not going to Apple I'm not pay gonna this take thing? pictures like this. But I'll tell you what, tar- there, there weren't. The one thing I did notice, and I'm guessing it's because they didn't do like an official launch. Mm-hmm. They just, the devices just kind of started showing up in stores um, and in people's mail. Um, there weren't many cases to be had. So I'm actually, I'm really happy with this Targus case. It kind of, it has this three dimensional look to it, mm. kind of like a honeycomb type look. Um, the thing I like about it is the, the cover actually latches kind of into place. So then when you also flip it behind, it's, you can latch it into place. Um, it was interesting because a lot of the case manufacturers on their on their packaging would say like new iPad parentheses generation six parentheses and parentheses. That's a problem. Like they didn't know what it was going to be called. And they never do, <laughs> especially. And then and then there's some of them when you go to like the the dollar store where they have iPhone cases like five below around here. Um, they just don't care yeah. at that point. They're just like, oh, yeah, we're not changing. But. Because I because I don't have the keyboard case anymore on an older version of Awesome Cat or an older number of Awesome Cast, I actually have where is it a Bluetooth external Bluetooth keyboard that allows you to connect up to three devices. Mm-hmm. So I'm actually oddly enough carrying this with me, and it allows me to connect my phone, my lap, whatever laptop I'm carrying, and my tablet. I've been playing with this idea. So you got the brand new one there, right? Yeah. Um, somebody's in the market for a new laptop. We're looking at the Air, the iPad, no, no the, the Mac Air, MacBook Air. Mm-hmm. I feel like the iPad might be enough. Well, it depends on what they're doing. Word. It's probably definitely enough. It's probably Which is enough. actually, hold that thought for my, one of the things, the news stories really? I have down towards the okay, bottom. Okay, we'll hold that thought. But, but it's but, the iPad Air 2. Wait, yeah. The iPad Air 2? I don't even know what they call it anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the iPad uh, It's the iPad Air 2. Um, fingerprint ID. It has the NFC, the, it has NFC in it, which, like I said, um, I doubt I'm going to be Apple paying with this. Are you, can you pull it out of the case to see how thin it is there? It is. And, so and that's the other thing about this case. I really like the way they designed how it goes into the case. And mm. this is going to be the funny part. It's actually not all that easy to get out of the case but it uses oh, like oh you this. don't have to if it's a pain no it's okay um it is extremely extremely thin <sighs> like and i will say the the other interesting thing the anti-reflection it is a lot less reflective they talked all about that coating they were putting on it mm-hmm. um it is a lot less reflective But whatever they did with that anti-reflective coating, when it's sitting on my desk at work, I get zero reflection off the ceiling. But it has this weird kind of bluish, reddish, odd tint to the glass from an angle when it's not powered up, which actually makes it look like the backlight is on, but it's a black screen. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? Like if you yeah, turn your so. TV on and don't have anything plugged into a component jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. just a black screen. It says like Ox 1 on it. But it's like the lit up It black looks screen. almost lit up from certain viewing angles. And then you're like worried. Like, am I, wait, what's going on here? Am I but losing is, my battery? What What's happening? It is super, super light. I, I've, a lot of people have been saying that the the battery, because it's smaller, they're not getting as good battery life. I feel like I'm getting just as good of battery life. Um, all my devices, I don't care what they are, laptop, desk, well, la- yeah, anything that I have that's portable, I have already gotten in the habit of raising and lowering the brightness as needed. Hmm. Um, 
And I think it's because it actually gives me a headache if the screen's too Ooh. bright. Oh, um, really? Yeah. Really? See, I and it a, doesn't matter. I don't care what device it I is. I have the problem where it, I'm it playing a makes game my head hurt. on, usually on the phone. Like, mm-hmm. I, I feel like I'm squinting when I'm playing a game. Then I look, it's like, oh, I need to turn that brightness up. It's like, it's like halfway down. Maybe it's like not, like, I want it to be a little bit brighter so I can see everything, all the graphics. Mm-hmm. You know, again, playing a game mostly, I, I usually don't have a problem with, like, even pictures or anything like that, but, um, or video. It like, actually depends. To me, it depends on. Like if I'm outside or inside or what the lighting situation is mm-hmm. like at work, the sitting at halfway is, is well bright enough outside. I do bump it up above above midway, mm-hmm. um, but no, I've been pretty darn impressed so far. Um, I picked it up at the Apple store on Sunday. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> um, you were a peach to deal with. Nice. And you know what? I, the other thing is, is I looked at it as the six, there's no more 32 gig model. So and and I actually had been buying the 64 gig model. So it was like $100 off to me for this year because they they're they they just switched to the mid mm-hmm. middle of the road is now 64 mm-hmm. gig which I really really like cuz I throw movies on here. I do I sync all my photos and whatnot, so I don't know, so far so good. Awesome. Awesome. God what damn. do you got? What do I got? Uh, I mean, I don't have anything. I, I actually do have a physical thing I want to show off. But I want to wait till I have another week with it to see how it is because i've literally used it like twice mm-hmm. uh, probably three-ish times since i got it um so i uh, so what i have uh, uh i found a really good story today um we've talked about rfid tags here before i'm sure in, in several methods um it's really weird i had a really weird time chilla because i'm i've told myself i'm not going to watch any nfl this year and i've really kind of like separated myself from sports despite having a gig every Friday shooting high school football and playing several hours of NFL blitz over the weekend. Uh, maybe I'm coming back. I don't know. But then I saw this story, which made the NFL kind of cool again after all their bad publicity this year. Um, I'm in the wrong document. I'm definitely, definitely in the wrong document. I'm looking at an RFID chip. 